Hiya and welcome to my Valentine's Day makeup video. I just thought I would put a really short uh, video together for you to show you how to do a really quick and easy Valentine's Day look or a date night look or general night out um, with minimal effort but kind of instant glamour. So I've prepped my face with a moisturiser and a primer and I've also put a lip exfoliant on and a lip balm because at the moment I'm finding that my lips are quite dry in this cold weather and my skin's quite dry as well. So I've already prepped my skin. So I am applying some foundation to my brush. You don't have to use a brush if you don't want to. Um, I find it quicker and easier using a brush, but equally you could use uh, your fingers if you prefer. And I have used the Arbonne perfecting liquid foundation and it's in a honey beige colour and I just find that these products are absolutely amazing for giving you a flawless base and a long lasting base and I use this product on the majority of my brides and it is really fantastic and then I'm going to go in with the uh, concealer so what I do is go in with a lighter colour around the eyes and this is more than I would use for daytime, but as it's a bit more of an evening look, I'm going to go in heavier around the eyes. And then using your ring finger, you just pat that gently all around the eye area. And it's a gorgeous creamy texture, so that just goes into your skin without leaving any creases. Sometimes I think if you use a concealer that's that's not very moisturising, it can actually just stick into the areas of your skin, onto your blemishes and spots and actually highlight them more. So this is a gorgeous creamy colour that blends in under those eye bags, which is what we want. Okay, so then if you wanted to cover any blemishes, you could use a slightly darker concealer over any other areas that you wanted to cover. Okay, but for me, that's feeling lovely and dewy and moisturising and I just think it's a really lovely base to start with. So, with all your wet products, you set them with a powder. Now, the one I love to use is a translucent setting powder, so obviously no colour to this. But what it does is it just, well, it does what it says on the tin really. It sets all your wet products so that they're going to last a lot longer throughout the day. Okay, and again, um, I use an Arbonne product for my setting powder, and this is a setting pretty loose powder. So, I have other products that I use in my kit, but I can honestly say that the Arbonne uh, base products are one of the best I've come across um, that I've ever used. So, I stick to them for my face because I just they just feel like a real uh, treatment to my skin, as well as looking great. So, put those on. And then now to tackle these eyebrows. Now those of you that have watched some of my videos before will know that these are my least favourite feature on my face because I massively overplucked them when I was younger. So I this is my key product. I always use uh, fill my eyebrows in before I do anything because I just think having a nice eyebrow shape completely transforms your face, your features. So I just started using this um, Anastasia Dip Brow, I think it's called. Yeah, Dip Brow, and this is a medium brown. Okay, it's absolutely gorgeous, I love this. And it goes on really nicely and stays on throughout the day. So, I'm just gonna brush what I have of my eyebrows. <laughs> have left above. Oh. If there's one thing I will say to my daughter Rowan is, do not pluck your eyebrows because, oh, these are just tragic. Anyway. This is where the lovely Anastasia dip brow comes in because you just pop a little bit onto a brush and then you are just wanting to follow the natural shape of your brow and create brush like strokes and basically fill in any gaps. So I'm elongating my brow and making sure the arch is in the middle. And as you can see already, this side of my face 
just looks so much more lifted, doesn't it, compared to the other side. It's like a facelift. Very simple, easy, natural facelift. So, yeah, I've gone light on these. But you can go a lot darker if you wish. So that is both eyebrows done. And just to give them a bit more definition and just to make them look even more arched and shapely, I use this gorgeous Pro Pencil from Anastasia again. I like to use it under the arch of my eyebrow. Really gently, just to create a bit more of an arch. And then doing the same the other side. And it's just really subtle uh, things that I'm using just to, to create a bit more lift. Okay, so that is beautiful, that product. And like I said, you can use it as a primer. In fact, I'll put a bit on my eyes, on my eyes as a primer just to show you how that can be used. I'm just rubbing a bit over the lid. And then I'll just, again, rub that in with my ring finger. Lovely. So next we will do a little bit of highlighting. And I have just been recently using a shadow for my highlighting. And a nice fluffy eyeshadow brush. Okay, so using a really lovely... This is called Opal by Arbonne, and it's an eyeshadow. And I just use that down the side of my cheeks. And then under the brows. A little bit across the top of my lips. And today, I'm going to do a little bit down my nose as well. And on the centre of my nose. I mean, you don't want to have loads on, but it's just really nice. Gives your skin a healthy glow. Now for the contouring or shading. So for this, I'm going to use a sleek product, um, which is a contouring and blush palette. And this is the light colour. So in here, it's got, apologies, this is my own personal one. So it's a bit, it's a bit dirty and a bit, bit well used, shall we say. So the middle one is the highlighter, which is almost finished. And then this one is the uh, one that we use to contour, which is a lovely shade. So just using like a bit of a bigger blusher brush. And then you're just going from the centre of your ear underneath your cheekbone. And this is just to create a bit of depth to the face. I'm going to do it heavier than normal so that you can see it on camera. Can you see that? And then same the other side. Then you can see it just starts to create that face shape. And I'm also going to do a bit on the top of my forehead. And you would apply this different, each person's face is obviously a different shape. So you would look at how your shape, face shape looks and then you apply this product to however, to whatever you really want to make look more angular. So I want to make it look like I've got a bit more of a jawbone. So I'm applying this lightly on the jawbone. And then... I'll just put a tiny bit on each side of my nose. Okay, that's the highlighter and contouring. So now I am going to go for uh, some eyeliner, I think. I want to put some eyeliner on because it's an evening look and then I'm going to do a bit of a bright lip and some mascara to finish and that basically is going to be it because it's not a it's only date night it's, it's valentine's night so you want to look like you made an effort but we're not going full guns out because it's probably just a meal or even maybe just staying in and having a meal in if you've got children which is probably what I'm going to be doing so um I'm going to be using a liquid eyeliner and I'm going to try and do it 
so you can see it straight onto the phone camera. So this may or may not work. So eyeliner done and now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and my personal favourites are uh, NARS or Space NK, they do fabulous eyelash curlers. So I'm just trying to get down as near to the root as possible and you can see the difference there from just curling my lashes. And now on to the mascara. And the mascara I use is um, Arbonne, it's a long story mascara and this is absolutely gorgeous because it's got bamboo extract in it which helps prom promote growth of your eyelashes and strengthen them as well because it hasn't got any chemicals in it or anything that is, is, can be quite damaging to your lashes so all it does is promotes growth but also gives an amazing finish to your eye, it's really lovely. And we'll get right into the corner. And this product is buildable as well, so if you want a more dramatic look, you can add on more than one coat. And then obviously getting those bottom lashes as well. So eyelashes are done, and I'm just going to add a little bit of blush to the cheekbones just to provide a bit more colour and I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks and then finally as it's Valentine's Day I am going to do a lovely red lip just to finish off this look so I'm going to use a liner first and this is an Arbonne pomegranate liner and this is just to give your lips more definition and I also use a bit of liner to colour in uh, the base of my lips and then go over that with a lipstick. So start off in the centre of the lips so that's, I've lined the lips and then filled them in slightly with the liner and then I'm going to get the um, Poppy Smoothed Over Lipstick and just finish off with that. And you can see already that colour has just really lifted my face and takes it from an everyday look into a bit more of a glamorous evening look. So there's a lot to be said for a nice lipstick. And there we have it. To avoid getting lipstick on the teeth, I always do the old tongue on my teeth, but then get my finger, pop it into my mouth. It's not the most attractive, but... And that takes the excess lipstick off your teeth. And there we go. That is my really quick and easy Valentine's Day look. Just need to maybe go and do a little bit with my hair, give it a bit of a zhuzh, get the... Uh, dry shampoo out and yeah ready to go thank you so much for watching hope you found this useful and if you want any more information on any of the products i've used or any more uh, advice on application or anything just drop me a message and i'd be more than happy to help thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon